Welcome to this video tutorial brought to you by EnvisionCAD. In this tutorial, we'll be taking a look at inroads and horizontal geometry, and specifically creating a horizontal alignment that goes from a arc to a spiral, to an arc to another spiral. You can see here I've got a geometry project and an empty horizontal alignment created. Then in the CAD file, I've already drawn the way I want it to look. I've got the arc, then a spiral, then another arc, and then another spiral, and to finish it off, I've got my last arc. To do that, I'm going to be using geometry tools and horizontal element tools. So I'm going to go to my task manager and open up the geometry tools. And then I'm going to take a look at the horizontal element tools and place some fixed curves. I'm going to start by placing a fixed curve by two points in radius. I know what the radius is going to be already. It's 1432.68 and I've got the points on the screen that I can snap to. So I'm going to select Apply, identify the PC and the PT of this curve, and accept it. Now I've placed my first fixed curve. The next curve I'm going to place is the middle one, but this one has a spiral on either end, so I'm going to put in the leading transition and a trailing transition. The radius is 81902, and for the leading and trailing transitions, I'm just going to type in 50, so I have some graphics out there to work with. So I'm going to hit Apply, place the fixed curve with the PC and the PT. You can see the spirals at either end, and then accept that fixed curve. Lastly, I'm going to do the last curve here with uh, no leading or trailing transitions. The radius for this one is 573.69, and again, I'm placing it by two points identifying on the screen the PC and the PT of this curve. So now what I have done, I've, I've placed three fixed curves and the middle curve has a leading and trailing transition spiral. Now what I'm going to do is modify these elements or edit these fixed curves. I'm going to use the edit horizontal element and then there's my first curve and then if I hit next I can go to the next spiral and what I want to do is modify both the start and the stop of the spiral. So I'm going to identify the start point, which is the PT of the first curve, and accept that. And then I need to identify the radius of 1432.68, so I'm going to fill that into the radius field. And then the stop is going to be the PC of the next curve. And the radius has already been defined of 81902. So when I hit apply, you'll see the magenta line be adjusted. So now the spiral is complete there. Then the next spiral I want to modify. Again, the radius is already set to 81902, which is good. And the new radius for the next curve is 57369. And then I need to identify the stop for this one. So I'm going to snap into the PC of the last curve and accept it, and then hit apply and then the magenta line will update automatically and I can close this. So now I've completed the steps here. I can annotate it. So I can go to the horizontal annotation tools and view this horizontal annotation. Maybe turn on the radials here and hit apply so you can see what's going on. And there you have it. So this is creating a horizontal alignment going from an arc spiral to an arc. For more tips and tutorials, please visit our website, envisioncad.com. Thanks for watching.